Hi Aaron, Paula from Fabric Emporium and today we've got this project on you. We've seen from the uh, pictures that we posted first what it looked like uh, when we first got it and I purely bought it because I really liked these unusual handles and the fittings. Um, so we've gone ahead and stuck some leatherette strips on and some strips here and these um, gold buttons that you can see are literally drawing pins that I've banged in. Um, so we're going to make this, or try to make this, look like a set of suitcases. So I hope it's going to look really, really cool. And a bit further on, I'm going to show you a new technique, a new image transfer technique, um, using this airmail um, that I've printed off the computer on the top. So the first thing we're going to do is do the outside a separate colour and then all the drawers will be different. So the first thing we're going to do, we've decided on, is um, some pumpkin pie in, in some areas. We're going to crackle it to give it an aged look and then Funky Dora on the top. So the main colour will be Funky Dora with some pumpkin pie crackles coming through. So when we've done that, we'll show you what that looks like. All right, thanks. Right, so as you can see, we have painted in various areas, not necessarily all over um, in the pumpkin pie. And then I've uh, applied the um, crackle medium just over the top of the orange. So when I put the next coat on of Funky Dora, we should see cracks just where the orange is, but I'm going to completely cover it. We've also prepped the drawers in Funky Dora. That's going to be the base coat and crackle medium again, so that we're now going to put different colours on each drawer so that we'll get a different effect, but they should all crack and hopefully all look old and leathery. That's the plan. So we'll uh, keep going and now start applying the different colours to the, to the drawers and finish off the base coat. All right, thanks. Okay, so it's looking really cool now. What we've got left to do is um, some silver studs, which are my original drawing pins. As you can see, we've done some of them here. And we've done that by mixing up 50-50 Sexy Silver and Gorgeous Gold Frenchine with some finishing coat. And it makes this lovely metal paint that we can then literally just put on like paint. Now these are bits of leatherette that we stuck on to mimic the brass bit that was already there. So I'm just going to paint over them. Might need a couple of coats, but it should cover it really nicely. So we've got all of the uh, brass studding to do and the final bit will be for me to show you how I'm going to do this image transfer on the top. So we'll pop back when we get to that stage. Thank you. Right, so we've done all the metal. Might actually, once it's properly dry, give it a second coat of the Frenchine mixture, but um, it's coming together. So the next bit that we're going to do is the image transfer. So I've printed this off. I've got this um, from the internet, uh, a space standard airmail sign. And what I've done is on the back, used a, a normal pencil and scribbled, I'm sure you will have remember doing this at school, scribbled thoroughly, making sure, holding it up to the light to make sure that every last bit that's on the other side is covered. So then I literally just place the image where I want it. And we decided we're going to do it at an angle rather than... Now I could masking tape it at this point, but it's not going anywhere and it's face down, so we should be alright. And then I'm using a pen, not a pencil, just because you can push a bit harder to go round all of the outline and it doesn't have to be perfect and what it's going to do is trace for me underneath the outline of the shape and then I shall be able to hand paint the image in and that, lovely people, is how it's done so it is a bit time consuming but the finished result is definitely worth it and it gives you the opportunity of not having to buy stencils for everything because stencils are expensive and this way you can use a different image on each project that you do, just one that you print out from the internet. I use um, the Graphics Fairy a lot, she has all sorts of uh, copy 
copyright free images, you can Google her, as well as lots of projects for you to try on her site. Um, and they're free and they're printable and they're good quality print so they get lots of pixelation. So there's my outline. it's transferred um, and it's not perfect but it's good enough for me to see is use a very tiny brush and that's the trick um, the, the tinier the brush the more detail the straighter the lines just works so much better so it's worth spending some money on a decent tiny brush so I'm just going to fill it in with ivory white which I think will go really well with the, the white that we've already got here um, and then I'll come back and show you when it's done okay right so all finished looks amazing the last thing that we did that I didn't show you was go over the whole thing with defining wax and it's aged it perfectly, kind of brought it all together, I think the colours work really well together. We've got grey pebble, we've got Mrs Brown, we've got ivory tower, more grey pebble and then obviously pumpkin pie and funky dora on the outside and there's a bit of loof on the on our fake straps that we've done. This is Ivory Tower, I think it's come out really well, as you can see it's not exact and it's not an exact copy of the, the original image that we've got, but it's good enough and I think it really works. Our fake bling here works really well too. So thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, hope you have a go. Um, thank you for your support as always and um, please like and follow my page which is www.facebook.com forward slash The Emporium Furniture which will take you straight to Fairy Chic Emporium. Thank you.